On this Genostics videocast, Dr. Joachim Flura and Professor Katarina Puckman discuss the relevance of circulating tumour cell presence in the bloodstream. From the publications, we understand, and from the research, we understand that these cells escape a primary tumour very early on and are present in the bloodstream. So what does the presence of these circulating tumour cells mean, in particular in relationship to the ongoing prognosis of the patient? We find indeed cells in very early tumours already in the blood and it has been claimed with other methods that the presence of these cells already is a bad prognostic marker. That's not in our hands. We think that not the presence of these cells is important, but the dynamic of these cells. And if the cells increase in numbers, this means there must be cells newly produced and released into the circulation. And this is a sign that the tumor is active or again active. And this can be used then on one hand, if there's no therapy to look for the tumor activity or during therapy to see whether the therapy is capable of destructing the cells and of reducing the number or probably also to eliminate these cells. So we think it's mainly a tool to monitor tumor activity and tumor or and treatment success. For more information, please contact Genostics at www.genostics.net.